Good evening. I'm Fred Jones from Mystery Inc. I'm Professor Stoker. Mystery Inc. Aren't you the monster hunting kids? This is about the uh, caveman, isn't it? Can you tell me more about that caveman? There is no such thing. It is a scientific impossibility. It is a hoax. That's what it is. I see. Uh, hey, you can't be here. The museum's not open yet, and no dogs allowed. Dogs? Where? Hello, sir. I'm Daphne Blake from Mystery, Inc. We're here to help you with your monster troubles. Oh, sorry. I'm Joe Grimm, Chief of Security. Mr. Grimm, when did these strange occurrences start to happen? Uh, about two days ago, I'd say. It's those new exhibits, the dinosaurs and the suits of armors and the... the caveman. Caveman? Boom. A caveman, you say? Look, I don't know nothing, all right? Just that uh, strange things are going on here. Are you the museum's curator? De Nelly Vivante. At your service. I'm Velma Dinkley, and this is Scooby-Doo. Charmed. We hear you've been having troubles with some of your exhibits. <sighs> Interactive experiences, dear. Some of the robotic characters have gone out of control and scared away most of the workers. Interesting. Great, Scooby, you found a clue! This photograph of the caveman seems to have been taken in the dinosaur exhibit. Maybe we can find him there. an apple.
tip. Volcanoes, huh? These would make some awesome barbecues. Barbecue? Mmm. I'm hungry. Well, guess what I have? Oh, right. A drumstick. Now, wait a minute. I was saving this for a special occasion. Shaggy! <laughs> Your drumstick!
snacks. for Scooby-Doo. That's quite a prize you got there, Scooby. Can I see it? Good work. Maybe you guys can check out the medieval room while I investigate the undersea exhibit with Daphne. Hey, Scoob, I'll bet you they have some kind of barbecue in there. Oh, boy, a barbecue. There's some greasy black fluid on this dinosaur bone. This is a replica of the planet Saturn, named after the Roman god of time. Perhaps this has a hidden symbolic meaning. This metal chain may have been used by the caveman to scare away workers. This looks like a broom closet key. 
Maybe we'll find information about who the caveman is in there. Wow, Professor. This museum must have changed a lot. Not for the better, I'm afraid. This isn't science. It's... It's entertainment. I... I can't stand it. Do you know what that Vivante woman wanted to call this venerable institution? An amuseum. A muse and museum. A museum. Can you imagine? That's, uh, catchy. It's idiotic. Do you think we could examine the undersea exhibit? Well, it's kind of dangerous. Don't worry. This is what we do for a living. 